Adobe Photoshop is a registered trademark of Adobe Systems Incorporated and I am in no way affiliated with Adobe. Okay, so on this clip I'm going to show you about opening a document and we're going to actually create a color inverse type deal. Um, what I mean by color inverse is something that is in color yet it also has a color it's black and white in color. I can't really explain it, but this is what I mean. As you can see, his glasses are in color and the rest of the image is black and white. And I'm going to show you quick and easy methods of doing this. And I'm probably going to show you around three different methods of doing this. Uh, that way you can choose which one you like to use best. So what I'm going to do is open my first image that I want to use. And usually you want to use an image. Uh, this one is going to be a real classic case. Um, it's going to be the, the case of the... Um, wedding. This is for the wedding tutor more than likely because for some reason wedding people like to use this and portrait kid, portrait people. Now I got to actually find my picture. Now here's my picture I want to use. As you can see, it's dark and uh, but it would look good if possibly these people were in uh, color and the background was black and white. So uh, this is the classic case of that wedding photograph. Uh, you capture the right moment and you can actually create something that looks pretty decent. Um, so I'm going to actually show you how to do this in these next steps here but for the most part I just wanted to show you what I mean by color inverse and I wanted to open my document for me and you want to make sure that a document has something that really stands out. Uh, for instance these people really stand out um, or like say for instance you had a bouquet of red flowers that would stand out but for the most part we're going to use this image. So. Keep uh, listening for the next tutorial.